All right, guys, I've got another quick video here for you on the LG G2. And what we're going to show you today is basically how to get your drivers installed correctly. So I'll try to make this quick. Um, and also how to turn on USB debugging on your device, which is in the development settings. Now, you can see me just trying right there to turn on this side thing. What, what, one known feature that you guys may not know is just a double tap on the screen does turn the screen back on, which is really nice. So let me get back into this. Um, what you're going to do is turn on developer options. So what we need to do is we need to go into settings and to about phone, software information. And to get developer settings turned on, you just need to tap on your build number. And you see that right there, it's telling you that. It says you are now two steps away from being a developer. And you are now a developer right there on the bottom. So we go back one screen, another screen, and here you can see we have developer options so we're just going to click into this it tells me a warning and it's turned on and then we're going to turn on this right here USB debugging say yes and now your device is going to be ready to install these drivers so what we're going to do from here is go ahead and plug in our cable to our computer like so well actually you know what let's go over to our computer first not plug this in yet let's go ahead and run the driver install on the computer before we set this up all right guys so here we go we've got uh, the drivers right here so all you're gonna do is download this file I'll give it to you in the video description this is the LG United mobile drivers and you just double click on it it's gonna uh, go ahead and do the preparation for install and it's gonna ask you like one more question hit next and then it'll finish and you can close the program out it takes about two minutes I'm not even gonna do it I already got them installed and I'm not even gonna mess with it but that's basically what you're gonna do it's very simple so are you sure you want to cancel say yes and finish alright let's go over to device now okay so we're here on the device let's go ahead and plug in the cable and when it plugs in should see this up here see it says USB debugging connected and you're gonna install drivers on your computer now and you can see them up there and it's got ADB interface working so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here on the device and we're just gonna cycle through all of these settings here so charge phone so now we're gonna click on the next one and say always allow this and your computer is gonna install more drivers say always allow from this computer and you should be seeing more drivers over here installing on the computer and they're all done so you're gonna scroll down again go back to USB connections and click the I don't, I don't we can we can click that one but I'm not gonna I'm gonna do this one and it's gonna come back and install more stuff on the computer so you can see more drivers installing does take just a little bit make sure you guys have um, Windows uh, auto updates turned on um, because it goes out and checks for drivers on there and even though you install the drivers over here it's just good to make sure you have that on because then it gets the newest and latest greatest stuff for the LG G2 so as soon as these are done which they just about are okay so we'll come back to device pull it down go back to it tap on the last one and it's going to install drivers again and then one last time and the reason I do this one last over here is because sometimes it messes with your internet connection and then these other drivers won't install right if you don't have a good internet connection so now we're going to do the tether one and I'm not sure if this is actually going to function or not it looks like it only functions with uh, with the SIM card in. So it's not really an issue for what we need to do. If you want to run that install driver, it's fine, but uh, you don't need to. So it's back to charge. Um, so there you go. That's what you got to do. Once you go through all those settings, minus the tether one, um, you can do it if you need to, but you shouldn't need to for any of the stuff we're going to need to do on the device to hack it and get into root app applications and stuff like that. 
um, you're done. You've actually installed all the drivers and everything is done for this device. You're ready to go ahead and do your custom hacking and rooting and custom ROMs, recoveries and all that, all that good stuff to your device because your drivers are fully set up now. Um, that's pretty much it guys. I uh, just hope this was informative for you. Um, as always, more videos on the LG G2. Check out RootJunkie.com. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out.